the beings, they occupy the same space. But the reason we don't run into each other is because we're vibrating in a different frequency. So we're not vibrating in the same frequency and we don't crash into one another. But there is time that we may change vibrations to a different frequency and we have an encounter with one another. And majority of the time it's a friendly encounter. So I personally allow it to be and if I come across beings or I feel let's say we call it ghost or or you know if if they get to a point that they're bothering me I try to have a communication with them and see where it goes but uh Normally when I do accept things and kind of surrender to it, then it seems like it solves itself and it disappears. Yes. Because normally it comes to a point of a fear because I don't understand something and I, simply I get afraid of it that, mm -hmm. okay, I feel the presence of a being here and that being could be anything it could be somebody close to me who passed could be my 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 bro, my sister who passed my good friend it could be my father or relative they communicating with me angels beings they want to show their presence to you that we're here we support you we love you you're not alone so it's, ne it's not necessarily a bad thing. How about if we talk about expectations? Or, or let's say actually we talk about acceptance. Acceptance in life. How's that for a topic of conversation for today? And what, what does acceptance mean? Acceptance, accepting you know, we're talking about acceptance of what is, acceptance of life. But, you know, when it comes to acceptance, which is something that uh, a lot of us struggle with, and, and this question comes for a lot of people, uh, and I have to, I can only speak for personal experience that I encountered this, on daily basis of being in situations that you're being challenged and and things maybe don't go because yeah when things go your way in your life naturally when that what happens acceptance you know it's not an issue you know because you're getting what you want so you're happy but then when things don't go your way and you planned all this stuff and you have all these expectations and you're invested into something and then all of a sudden it's not going your way. And that's where now we're looking at this thing that what do you mean by, by acceptance of what is? Acceptance of life, acceptance of my uh, karma or whatever, however you want to put into it, word put into it, okay? And what do you mean by that, Zarathustra? And what what I mean by that is that that if, for example, what what if I have a toothache? My my tooth is aching, or I have a really horrible headache. And do I have to accept it? Well, no. You need to do whatever you can do to fix it. Because obviously it's getting your attention and it's really hurting. Your tooth is hurting and it's bugging you. And there's so long, so much time you can sit down and say, well, I'm in total acceptance of my, my toothache. But then it's okay to a point that it's not okay anymore 
that is really bugging you and is really hurting you, and you have to do something about it. And doing something about it is a part of the acceptance too. So that is different when I'm referring to acceptance of life. That's different because now you, it requires action to do something about your toothache or your headache or your elbow or whatever it is that you need to get help and fix it. Now, there is another thing. Of, now, we're going to be looking at a broader view of the acceptance, of accepting, accepting my karmic path, accepting my life, accepting um, of the way or the direction my life is going. And then all of a sudden, the river changes and it's going in another direction. And that has happened to most, I mean, I would say everybody at one point or the other, you know, you have an idea. Okay, I'm going to go into partnership with somebody and, you know, we, we get married and we're having a couple of children and we bought the house together and everything is going great. We're in this marriage union with this person and then six seven years go by and my partner she comes and tells me that she's not happy in this relationship maybe gives me a chance to work on it and i work on it and then she comes and says you know i'm done i'm done and now i'm in this complete breakdown and turmoil and going through suffering that there is something wrong in life and and this is not right it shouldn't be this way because my wife is leaving me or is trading me in for a younger man or whatever it is and and life sucks this is horrible it shouldn't be this way you understand? Are you with me? Yeah? So, or let's say I, I've made, and that has happened to me, okay? Again, this is direct experience. I've made investments in, I don't know, real estate or stock market or career change, and things didn't go right, didn't go the way I wanted it, and things fell apart. And I ended up losing a lot of money and I'm angry. I'm not happy with what has happened. What I'm referring to is my attitude and my level of understanding, whether I'm coming from a higher consciousness space of accepting of what is, is that this relationship with this woman has ended or it's not happening and or it's not happening for her anymore so now before we're two people moving together in this river going in the same direction and now all of a sudden the river is splitting and one is going in this direction and one is going in this direction but we're not in the same path anymore